talk today we're going to talk about Beautiful Creatures by Mar Margaret Stoll and Kami Garcia. So if you want to see a review and sort of gone over the book, just keep watching. Hi. So this book, you guys, I don't even know who turned me to it or why was it that I picked it up or if it was because the title was so catchy and I just wanted to read about it. But with that being said, I'm left a... Uh, I was going to say a little, but truth be told, is a lot of disappointment. I didn't like it. I thought as I was going to, as as much as I, I didn't like it. I just didn't. I it turned me away from other books. I just didn't want to, which was sort of was something I was dreading to do, and um, I just I wasn't completely immersed in the story. First of all, let's start at the beginning. The story takes place in uh, southern United States where people talk very funny, which I think it, it's good. And it's a very small town and there is sort of like a star-crossed lover sort of thing pulls around with magic and supernatural and people who are there and southern superstition and magic and just a lot of things that will combine you think wow this is going to make for a great book or at least I thought it was going to make for a great book so I started it and it turns out I don't really like the characters I like the story so far but from start to finish I didn't very much like at all the fact that one of the main characters would not stop whining I am one of those people who just don't like to have whiny characters Katniss Everdeen dear lord woman just get it together something like that just annoys the heck out of me and it's usually always the girl who whines and whines and whines about why me and why did it happen and and what am i doing and there's nothing new this is what bothers me most of the time i like women that just take initiative and go do what it is that they have to do no matter how hard it is they get it together this one didn't do that so i'm I'm following Lena around and I really don't like her. I think she whines a lot. I think she doesn't take into account the powers she can have. I think she doesn't try to make the actual specific effort to stay with Ethan, which is the counterpart of Lena if we want to talk about it. And he is this country southern boy who's had a terrible, terrible life so far and well, who's had a terrible life after his mom died and now he's trying to find his way again. He's trying to see what's going to happen and he's trying to help her because she is totally had a lot of different circumstances that have taken her to be an outcast. She doesn't want to be an outcast anymore and that's why she's going away to this town with her uncle and trying to find her way in a very, very hands-off sort of way. The whole story sort of revolves around them being able to have powers together and sort of communicate with each other in their minds and they don't know how or why it's causing it. They just start looking for things that could help them. I mainly, my problem was that I might have been able to overlook Lena and her whininess and I might have been able to overlook the fact that it was all sort of happening in the same place and some of the parts of the story didn't feel to me like they were directly connected to the story like some parts just felt like they are in there just to be in there as a sort of neutral ground they doing something else but they're not doing anything directly related to the story so that's one of my main problems and the next one is that I feel like it starts and it ends in the same way. There, the whole book is sort of building up the tension for this one particular moment where all hell is going to break loose and she's going to have to pick, she's going to be bad or good and she thinks it's fated and that it's written in the stars and that there's nothing that she can do about it and that her curse is going to take her away from everything and everything, she, everything and anything she loves. And at the end, she's given a choice. She can have that or not, uh, depending on what she wants and of who she wants to be with. And uh, nothing happens. I mean, there are a part that it's sort of sad, but I, I didn't, it didn't feel like an end of the story to me. It just felt like an end of a chapter. 
sort of thing. It doesn't really make me want to read more of the story. I can definitely live with the fact that it all ended like this. She's sort of in between, not called, and um, completely in the middle of everything and anything again, just like her life has always been, with the definite change of somebody she loved not being anymore in her life. But that, that I sort of saw coming, so that's one of my main problems. Another thing that I have is the, the fact that the actual book I don't think is going to be as entertaining as the audiobook. So if you want to give this book a try, even after you've seen this, which I definitely recommend for you to make your own mind, even if you've been warned, I would definitely recommend for you to pick up the audiobook as opposed to the actual book, which is something very weird for me to be telling you, but the fact is that the accents, the songs, the Latin, the nicknames, it's going to sound a lot better if you have it in an audiobook. That's, uh, it was a superbly narrated audiobook and I enjoyed that part of it very much. It might have been why I waited until the whole end of the book and then sat down and started thinking, well, I didn't like this and that and that and that and that. So um, it felt like it was finished on the first book even though I'm no, I know it's in a series. So I'm completely turned away from the book. Do I think I'm, get, I'm going to pick up the second one. I'm not sure. There's so much on my TBR that I think is going to be definitely prioritized before I pick up the second book and I would not purchase it. I honestly would not because I'm not going to be rereading it. I, final, I fall in love with books and I repurchase books and I purchase books that I know I'm going to pick up someday because I'm going to miss the character so much that I just have to reread it again no matter if I already know the answers, if I know the ending those characters are the ones that pull me. These characters did not deliver and I'm so sorry to say it because I know there are so many people that love it but unfortunately I'm just not one of them. So with that said, I gave the book a two stars out of five mainly because of the experience in the audiobook. If I had read the book I'm not sure I'd be giving it this rating. It might be lower. I hope this guy, I, I hope this review helped you guys. Um, again, be more than welcome to go ahead and branch out on your own and make your own mind about it. But this is just my opinion. There's books for everybody out there. Unfortunately, this one wasn't for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Bye-bye.